Howdy, this is Pell Ryder, and welcome back to the final episode of my series on Draconic Evolution. Um, this episode, I'm going to finish off the, uh, the description of the tools, or actually it's just the only one I have left is the hoe, and I have the weapons and the staff of power, and then at the end of this episode, I will be doing the well the last half of the episode how we'll be doing the chaos dragon fight so let's get into it the next item is this hoe this hoe is really pretty cool i need to get into creative mode for a second and get a stack of dirt And I guess I can get back out of creative while I'm doing this. All right, this is really cool. With this hoe, if you have dirt already... Oh, first of all, not counting that dirt. Let me find a good flat 9x9 nine nine area. Here we go, right here. Go into the middle of a 9x9 nine nine area and right-click. It automatically sets up your farm area. Um, you have to open that up and put some water in there. As you can see, it's it's dehydrated, um, so it's starting to grow back already. But if you put water in there, then it, it'll hydrate it, and that won't happen. Um, what's really cool about this is... That's what I was saying. If you have dirt in your inventory and you have an area like this where it's not even complete, it'll automatically put the dirt in for you. So that is really, really cool. It's a perfect 9 by 9 area. So if you put water in the middle, then it'll be a perfect size farm. Oh, oh, we got bad guys over here. Yeah, I don't want to be around them. <laughs> they will hurt you. All right, I'm back. I was just doing the Chaos Dragon fight and noticed that I forgot a few things. So I came back in here to my creative world to do these. And I'm going to do show you these before I get to the um, Staff of Power. So here we go. All right, first thing is, is the sword. Um... I need to find a good spot here. The only real difference in this sword and the wyvern sword is... Well, let me get rid of this guy first. Boop. All right. Let me spawn a crap load of sheep. <laughs> And the other one, the Wyvern sword would kill everything within a 3x3 three three area. And I think I already sh showed this on one of my other videos since I was using this already in, um, I don't know, part 7 or 8, I think. Um, but this will do a 7x7 seven seven area. Kills everything within a 7x7 seven seven area. If you notice that, everything that was on the edge, it didn't kill on, on the one edge. This is a... Wait, this is a 7x7 seven seven hole, isn't it? Okay. I think I'd have to hit it dead center. Let me try this again. I'd have to hit a sheet dead center in the middle of this to kill all of them. Yeah. All right. Yeah, 7x7. Seven seven. All right. So now... I guess that's the only difference in the in the sword. If you look, I got a lot of stuff on it though. Um, yeah, the other thing that I missed is the bow. The bow is exactly the same, also except one other feature. And if you shift, 
if you shift right click it goes through the different modes um, it has sharpshooter and rapid fire just like the wyvern bow but it also has explosive uh, and this devastation devastation only works in creative mode and that blows it to about everything <laughs> okay the um, explosive mode you have to have oh that used up my gunpowder Powder is right here. I don't know why creative mode you actually had to use gunpowder also, but okay. With explosive mode, you have to draw, wait a second, and fire. And why is this not working? Maybe it's because I'm in creative mode. Oh, there it goes. You actually have to draw, wait a second. Oh, there we go. Okay, look at look at the bow. See how it changed to a full. Right there, it changed to a full draw, and then it'll shoot. And it t uses four gunpowder for each shot. And but it it blows up a pretty good size area. All right, the only other difference, the only other thing that I missed while I was um recording this a while ago was the other major difference between all the wyvern stuff and the draconic stuff is the amount of RF that it holds all the RF stuff let me grab I mean not all, all the um, wyvern and there's some wyvern pants oh, I guess I could have just showed you in there wyvern pants hold 1.0 million RF. So it holds 1 million RF, just like any of the other stuff. Um, if it actually shows it, a couple of them still sh show it. There we go. The, the sword shows it. Uh, 1.0 million RF. All of the draconic armor and tools hold 10 million RF, except for the staff of power which holds 30 million all right so the last thing that I want to show you is this staff of power so let me go over here out of the way somewhere and I'll show you what it does first of all like the pick and the shovel It has a dig size area, nine all the way up to nine by nine instead of just seven by seven. Um, but it also has a dig depth, which can go from zero to nine also. So not just two dimensional, this is three dimensional holes. So not just taking off the top layer, we're also digging down nine. So that could be really useful in digging down to bedrock really fast. <laughs> um, you need to be careful with this. Without the um, void junk on, which I'm not sure exactly how to work that yet, um, you could waste a lot of resources if you run into lava and burn them up. So you got to keep an eye on your inventory and get rid of the junk yourself and take out the good ores and put them in chests. Okay, next uh, feature is the attack feature. Um, this with the sword, you can kill things up to a 7x7 seven seven area. This one can go anywhere from a 1x1 one one area all the way up to a 25x25 25 25 area. And I guess this holds as good a place as any to show this. 
go down here and I'm gonna put down a bunch of sheep. And this is a nine by nine hole, but this can be a lot bigger and filled with a lot more mobs. And bam! Yeah, buddy. <laughs> This thing is crazy. Only one problem with that is, is that if you miss the mob and accidentally hit something, and you have something of value there, you can tear up your stuff pretty quick. So you got to be really, really careful with that. So I guess that's about it with this. Um, I am going to go back into... Um, onto the server and fight the chaos dragon. So I'll see you when I get there. All right, I'm in the end. I'm at the Ender Island, the main one. Well, the only one, I guess. Um, I would just fly out. Okay, there, yeah, there's one of my comments. I ha actually found two comments so far. There's another one. If you notice, well, yeah, there are Stop it, Come on. Well, I guess not. Okay, so the Chaos Dragons are straight out from 0, zero 10,000 blocks in all directions. 10,000 blocks, then 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, and so on and so on. Um, in all four directions. So they're right in there and to save time for now I am just gonna teleport to one of them let me try the one at zero and let me go up to about 150 and 10,000 and this is it go ah I should be right above the area that he's at. Yeah, see, I'm 7,000 blocks away from... 74,100 blocks away from that comet. And it's not loading. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yep, see, I'm directly above it. This is the area. You can tell... Whoa! And he's already hit me. <laughs> Dang. It, and he, he attacks quick. I did this in creative. Did this first time like this. Oh. Well, oh, I did test the armor. Oh, man. See, I'm glitching because I'm... From teleporting in, I was glitching. i got to get all these... It's actually, oh, yeah, he's relentless. Dang. There's actually no no way of, he's fast, so he will regen off these if they're anywhere. So you got to get all of them quick. He also has about 30 seconds or a minute or something of natural regen. Whoa. I just try to keep this in rapid fire mode. Every time I hit, oh, oh, I know what I need to do. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Um, I need to go in here and set my speed multiplier up. That'll make it so I can get around quicker. Yeah, that helps. Oh man, I'm just glitching. Every time he hits you, man, it's like he's got some heavy knockback. And, yeah, it's hard to control this because every time I hit shift to go down, I end up changing the mode on my, on my bow, too. Whoa, whoa. Cloud. <laughs> Glitching on the clouds is what's doing it. Get in there. 
Okay, there. I mean, oh. oh, dang it. Oh, that's the one thing I didn't even show is the explosive mode, huh? Watch this. Whoa. Why is that not working? Oh, you need gunpowder in your inventory. Ooh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's all of them. Yeah. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah, all this uh, draconic stuff um, works pretty good against them, but. He's kind of a pain. He's like fast. Oh, oh. There he is. Is he still regen? Come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Come at me, come at me, come at me. Oh! I'm trying to stay over the middle of this too because once I kill him, I want him, want his, whatever he drops, just drop in this middle because there's holes all around this area and stuff will fall into the void. There you go. Oh! Yeah. It's lagging on this server. It's not making this very easy. on a cloud again. Dang. Where's he at? Where's he at? I know all I need is more hit. There he is. Dang. Freaking lag. Lag is driving me nuts. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Come on. Oh, dang! He snuck up behind me. I... There we go. Oh. He's under me. Mm. Why can't I get him? Just one more freaking hit. Come on. Okay, there should be two hearts now. Oh! There's the other portal. I know that I mentioned this when we were fighting the um, resurrection dragon that I thought there would be a second portal. And I think this is the reason why there wasn't. Um, for some reason in creative, it's 
cr it created that second portal on the end Ender Island. Um, it didn't on this one. It made it here, so it's easier to get back to the overworld, I guess, from here. That's really cool. Okay, wait for the hearts. And there they go. So this one actually gives you two hearts instead of the one. So that's really cool. Oh, and I did not mean to go through yet. I was going to get the egg, but I can go back and get it later. All right. So that's over, and that's actually going to be the end of the series. Um, I'm going to try to come up with another mod pack that I want to do a tutorial on, or not another mod itself, not the pack. But um, I gonna probably get it out within the next week I'm gonna try to figure out something um, but yeah that was fun um, and I hope I've answered everybody's questions um, if not just leave a comment and I'll try to answer what I can what um, what I might have missed so yeah <laughs> we'll see you next time adios